Friday the 10th of March, a fire erupted in a township called Imizamoyetu, leaving 15,000 homeless and a number of people dead. I'm Andrew Blake. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of the Global Fire Detection Products business at Johnson Controls. We are thrilled to be supporting such an important project that helps improve life safety and fire protection in South Africa. In 2015, we began a partnership with Lumkani, and this was really driven by a shared interest in improving life safety around the world. And what we really liked about Lumkani was their focus on life safety, an area of passion that we share. One area that they really look at is improving fire notification for a type of resident that could really benefit from that. Johnson Controls brought a century of fire detection experience and know-how to this project. We partnered with Lumkani, who brought great technology and a great idea. We financially supported the development and deployment of this technology as well. So the version 4 Lumkani fire detector, which we collaborated with JCI on, is really an improvement in, in many ways. For starters, the sound is much louder than our former device. Um, our sensing technology and algorithms have far improved. The device will now last between eight and 10 years as a result of two batteries, whereas before we only got about 18 months. And I, I suppose the most important feature is that this device allows us to detect and pinpoint a fire down to the GPS accuracy, um, whereas before we just knew a general community where the fire may have broken up. Now we know exactly who the homeowner is, what their contact details are, and how to get hold of them in real time. Uh, the detector is manufactured locally in Cape Town. Uh, we source components from all over the world uh, to, to distribute this detector, which we've now distributed into almost 5,000 homes in Imizawiya too. Molweni ndignombu iselo natuzi ndishala apu mandela pak kwa kalimini ngeten ka maj sastung bafanba auzu fika kuti koda wate waza ufika kusugo landila which is nge 11 ka maj ngitapasela kakulu ngoba izi ndenda ndinazo andisenazo ngoku ndikalu bompansi Ngoku and the Saibon Kakuli risk ngoba ulum can use the e fire device as is Kalilayo Kakalumi, Gwenzel Basikuselek. O city of Cape Town, Usenzel, Asenzele Kon, Akorake, Akwenelang, Akwenjela, Ebekui, Nje, Ulu, the Silumeto, Ubasikale, Ubum Kwakon, Korake, Akfana Kana. Nje ngobabe sulo kusoyika everyday. Kora ke ngoku kunyo ngoba. Kuko ngoku ez alam sinazo. Ez za usbonisa noko. Ubo mbabando abuzo. Asizu. Asizu bluza nje nga kalu bo ngoba. Kuku ifemele za eza sule kelo apaya. Since Lumkani's installation in Imizamoyetu in March 2018, three fires have been successfully detected. No homes were lost and internal damage caused was minimal. I came to my house and I went to the 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 house. I went to the house and 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 the house and I went to the house and I went to the Jengoba umilane wa mewa ishe imbisa, sezwa imitiki. Hazangi kubeni damage. In these instances alone, Lumkani has mitigated possible community-wide losses of approximately $370,000. These losses were mitigated in the first three months of installation, with another eight to ten years worth of risk reduction in place.